this is page 74 and I just flipped it over on its side to help us out a little bit more. So we're just going to make a very large triangle and that triangle we're going to have three lines or also known as four levels. And if we're talking about a tissue, like a Kleenex, those mean the same thing. The same thing happens with our vocabulary that we're using for this energy pyramid. So if we're talking about the bottom level, the bottom level always has to be our producer. So I'm writing producer. Another name for a producer is an autotroph because an autotroph, auto means self and troph, like these trophic levels has to do with feeding. So an autotroph and a producer are the same thing. Well, what eats the producer or autotroph. That would be a consumer. A consumer has to get its energy from eating something else. Same thing up here, it's gonna eat the level below it. So that would be a consumer, as well as our final one would be a consumer. Now if we're talking about autotroph, autotroph means that it eats, it makes its own food through sunlight, from sunlight through photosynthesis. Well, a heterotroph has to get its food another way, such as a consumer. So this would be a heterotroph and same thing with this heterotroph and heterotroph well if we're looking at what eats producers that would be a herbivore only eats producers that's plants well if what eats herbivores that would be a carnivore and then this would also be a carnivore now here's where things get a little bit fishy is we're talking about this is our producer but our first level consumer is called our primary or first level consumer so it's like a one it's not the very bottom level but it's our first level so that would mean this would be second or secondary or second level consumer and then this would be our third level or tertiary or third level consumer. So you're going to want to know that all these things mean the same thing.